The claptrap that I was teasing on this channel for some time is finally finished. There's an uh, with, there's a video and article coming out tomorrow on the Prusa channel, but I thought I would show you just a quick sneak peek. Uh, there's a button on top, which if you press, it plays a voice line. <laughs> yeah, uh, the eye is animated when he talks, so as I press the button, it starts blinking to the words he's saying. Wait a minute, you're not dead, you know. My head is at your crotch level, I'm trying not to think about it. Yep, and there are, there are two screw screws on top. Oh my god, focus here and here and let me see if I can undo them with one hand yep and now we have access to the inside uh, this is just a painted arcade button so here you can see how it's orange and it is all powered with this simple power bank that also has a micro USB port, oh, come on, right here. So you can also charge it with, with the same cable. So this is super handy. And I think it, it lasts like two days on this small battery or something like that. And then here is the other, oh, I just reset it. Yeah, let me just kill him. Okay, <laughs> sorry, club trap. So, Here's an Arduino, and then uh, here is the LED holder, and then right there is a small 8 ohm speaker. And oh yeah, and then there's the the audio player, which has a micro USB slot and a built-in amplifier. So this is really like super simple. I love how how clean the solution is. Uh, if you wonder how uh, I made the uh, eye blinking, I mean, come on, try to guess how I made him blink into the words. I thought about it for quite a while and all the solutions were too complicated. The most simple one I thought of was adding an analog microphone, uh, you know, uh, rotating the pin to the Arduino and just looking for the loudness from the analog pin on the microphone and then uh, adjusting the brightness based on the uh, audio gain from the microphone. But <laughs> what I actually ended up doing is uh, and when you press the button and the audio is playing, I just blink in, in random intervals from like 50 to 170 milliseconds. <laughs> and it actually turns out that you can just blink however you want and it's gonna totally look like the blinking is synced with the words, which I think is pretty hilarious. It's so simple and I mean, it works. So if I plug it in. And come on, it, it looks like he's talking, so. Yeah. Yeah, so right in front, this lens is actually uh, printed on an FDM 3D printer, which I think is pretty insane. We have a we have an article about that. Uh, the base has this sand wasteland imitation. That's a citadel paint. I think that looks super cool. And yeah, the whole claptrap was painted by David, our in-house artist who uh, paints all the models for our shows and exhibitions. So I think he did like a remarkable job with Claptrap. And then we did some tricks like I've glued uh, these cables and these cables right here uh, to Claptrap's body. So I think that really helps to sell his look because underneath these cables, uh, this green and blue one, is that's a printed and painted wire. That's just, you know, part of the STL. But because there are re real cables in front of it, I think 
it really helps to sell the effect that they're real. And yeah, also these screens, this is just printed on an on a 2D uh, A4 free Office 3 uh, 2D printer. I mean, just a printer, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and it's painted with glossy lacquer so that it's shiny. Yeah, so if you want to learn how to build a robot like this from modeling uh, to 3D printing, uh, to the electronics assembly, to the programming, and then painting and assembly, uh, check our YouTube channel tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be there. It's like a 15 minute long tutorial. <laughs> I went a little bit overboard, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, that's it. Bye.